everyone I'm going to be going over a few higher-end foundations and putting in clips into this video from the days that I wore them telling you what I think about them and also I'm going to tell you um, at least in script when I'm editing the video what I thought about how the foundation looked toward the end of the day so around 8 o'clock at night 8 30 I'm going to look at it in a close-up mirror because that's what I need to be able to see with these eyes um, these days and that's you know looking at my foundation like if I was at a party or an evening event and didn't have time to redo my makeup which I never do and what someone else would see when they look at my foundation now for each of these days I'm going to be using the exact same concealer I've been finding that my skin and my foundation looks better if I'm not using the one kind of primer I have. And also, the other thing I was trying, because all these people were talking about how Wayne Goss said, and he does in one of his videos, put on some powder, translucent powder before the foundation, and it helps the foundation not sink into pores. Well, I didn't necessarily find that to be true for me. So, I'm not putting on powder before foundation, it's just same concealer every day and then a higher end foundation I'll even tell you what color I'm using and of course click the box below click show more to open it up and I'll have links to all of the products I'm using all right so let's get started today I'm wearing a foundation by Tarte called Miracuja Miracle found sealer it's supposed to be a concealer and a foundation I still need concealer um, under the eyes and um, it just means it's pretty much a full coverage foundation I have it in the color fair which is the lightest color it comes in um, I also already reviewed this um, it comes in a whole kit from QVC and I'll link right here to the video where I reviewed that if you click it it opens up in a separate window or tab um, so this, it goes on kind of chalky. I don't know if that's because I have the lightest color. Also, the goofy thing about this is that um, it comes with this tubey thing, and you're supposed to press the button to fill it, but it really doesn't do much. There, not much goes into it. So you have to pour it out of the bottle anyway. They should have just put a panel on this. Um, so um, actually, I don't think I'm close enough up I'm going to zoom in the camera in the next scene to get a little closer up shot so you can see my skin a little better. All right, so hopefully you can see my skin a little bit better. Um, I use bronzer on top of it because it is so light. Um, out of all my favorites, just as it goes on, it's just hard, really hard to get it on, even with the brushes, and it came with a beautiful brush. Um, but it just doesn't go on as nicely. I think, um, and I have my big old mirror here, I think after I have it on, it looks, it looks okay. It looks like a lot of coverage. Not that I don't mind a lot of coverage, but it just looks like a lot to me on me. And um, I'll report what it looks like at the end of the day. Today I'm wearing Makeup Forever Foundation. It is the Invisible Cover Foundation in color number 115. I've already tried this several times, and so far I'm liking it a lot. Turn over my magic mirror. Um, it's called Invisible Cover, but it is, I would call it a full cover foundation. And um, so far, it's performing a lot like my Emlyn foundation, so um, I will report in the corner up here how I liked it at the end of the day. Um, I can still see it, so part of a really good full coverage foundation is it's full coverage, it's covering all the problems, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing lots of makeup. Um, so I think a lot of, for this segment that I'm doing on my higher end, I'm going to be comparing 
this one to the Emlyn and going back and forth because they are really close in how they perform. Today I'm wearing Emlyn foundation. Um, it comes in a bottle like this, but this is not the color I use. The color I use came in a bottle like this because when I bought it in the past in Burnished Fawn, um, sometimes they run a promotion where they'll include for free another ounce which you know this is an ounce which is a great deal in this little travel bottle which has been great for traveling so today I'm wearing the burnished fawn and it's the second darkest color they have the ivory is the lightest so um, the sun isn't out today I'm not getting this bright light it's full coverage um, it doesn't necessarily look like full coverage, like some of the full coverage drugstore brands that I tested. There's the dog again. Um, but, oh, uh, I am lighting, well, I need, <laughs> for years I've worn this color, but now I'm thinking I like the lighter color on me. Maybe I like the lighter color on me in the winter. So let's see how it holds up at the end of the day. Of course, I'll post it over here on, your, on the right side of your screen to see just how it looked and how it performed. I'm wearing Emlyn foundation today in the Burnished Ivory, which is their lightest color. It comes like this. I don't know if it's reflecting a little bit too much. Um, for years I wore the Burnished Fawn, so this is one color lighter. I'm liking the lighter color. So looking at it in my, my magic mirror over here, um, it's not as cakey as some of the others. Um, and for years I would put on foundation just with my fingers. I am liking using the flat brush or the um, Real Techniques expert face to get around the eyes and the nose just to blend it a little bit into the pores. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorites. We'll see how long it lasts. I do have an event this evening. Um, <laughs> if it looks bad close up at six o'clock I might even clean off my face and start over and put on new because I, I haven't liked as I've been paying more attention and filming these segments for both the drugstore foundation and the higher end foundation taking a look really close in a close-up mirror around eight o'clock at night that's what people see when they're you know standing right by me at that time of day the foundation's just not looking real good in here in here a little bit in here but mostly in here and in here so um, we'll have to see about that so that's my test on high-end foundations, a few of them anyway. And the winner, but not by much, is Emlyn. Um, this is really a great uh, foundation. It's actually a great line for more mature skin. It's not too far behind the Makeup Forever, but um, they looked very similar on my skin during the day. They weren't too cakey, and today I'm wearing Emlyn again. So it's another day, and it's a hot day. Um, oh, and I have something on my face. Lovely. <laughs> um, and I just think at the end of the day, after 4 o'clock, after 5 o'clock, the Emlyn just lasted better and looked better in the areas where these two tended to get more cakey, which was in here and in here. So that's my pick. Um, if you wondered what kind of concealer I was using, I was using the Emlyn Concealer Under Eye Cover is what they call it. It looks like this, and it lasts for a long, long time. Um, if you click below, click Show More, and open the description box, um, the Emlyn Company actually has given me a discount code that you can use for 5% off your first purchase if you want to try it out. So, um, it, so far that's worked out really well for me and we'll see, I'll probably try some others in the future. Thanks for watching, bye.